today, talking connection with ourselves and on the dating scene. Yee. But first, a thought. The two most powerful warriors are patience and time. Leo Tolstoy. So, hey, it's nice to have you in here after a week that, for me, has seen a lot of talking, walking, sitting, and sharing. Yeah, as I mentioned, my sister Cindy, the one who lives in the primarily Canadian and American community in Mexico called Ajijic, came for a visit. Cindy got here safe and sound, and we headed straight for my happy place, which I hope soon became hers. Surely near Souk, B.C., if you're looking it up, and you should. We put on our visors for a top-down ride in the Mini, of course, and the hour-long drive out of Victoria to Shirley, and we strolled the beach and admired the views with breezy sunshine and highs in the mid-teens. Now, it stayed warm enough in this water, (laughs) but not the ocean, thank you very much, and we had a perfect wood fire in the evening. Mostly, though, we took time to breathe to inhale the indescribable beauty and the peace, the quiet and the solitude. Now, you may recall I told you Cindy's story a few months ago. Married for 40 years, her husband decided to leave her for an American woman after they'd moved all the way to Mexico. Now, Cindy's like me, like my mom and all four of her daughters for that matter. When the world shudders or falls apart, she takes steps to steady it. And she has taken solid steps in moving forward, heck, some days just standing upright. Some of our time was also spent online at the cabin, where she's starting to dip her toes into the idea of the dating world after four decades of status married. Okay, now that was an experience. How do you write a profile to sum up who you are so that others will see you if you're a good fit, while also being honest, but not too honest, interesting, but not weird, and so on? I mean, I have trouble with my Twitter bio, for heaven's sake, but there she is, sifting through people who might be a good match according to Facebook dating's algorithm, and deciding what steps, if any, to take next. I get sick to my stomach just thinking about it. I know dating sites have worked for a lot of people, and maybe I've watched too many episodes of Dateline, if there is such a thing. But it seems like an awful lot of these guys either have a degree in creative writing, or they seem too good to be true. Of course, I worry for my sister because she's early in recovery from heartbreak. It's like a death, the kind of grief that you get through, but not over. But maybe she will get over with new love. Who knows? I guess I have to trust that she knows what she's doing and that that the universe will give her a break. Tomorrow, she's off to Kelowna for another sister visit and to see Dad for the first time in three years. Did her stay here help? I don't know. I can only hope. Often, time is the only thing that helps. But if this isn't part of the prescription, I don't know what is. Have a gentle week, and I'll be in touch, as always, every day on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Oh, and thank you for helping put my drift sleep stories in the top 1.5% downloaded worldwide. Sweet dreams. Tomorrow, it's the Frog Prince. (laughs) Fitting, huh?